I am. I'm gonna demonstrate to you how to use this reach forces pack module for anti-submarine warfare. Uh, Armor three introduced the uh, submarines, but didn't really introduce any way to get rid of them. They happen to be on the enemy team, so that's what we came up with. And uh, we're gonna start with putting out the enemy. It's a basic uh, submarine unit. I'm gonna give it a few waypoints here. In fact, we, we could actually put out uh, a few more. I just copy this and I'll place one over here and one uh, down here. Uh, so now we got three submarines in the water somewhere outside our military base, which isn't good. And so we need to catch them, of course. And for that, we need a blue for a player. Take a so we soldier here, and then we need a, a helicopter. So I'm gonna use the Black Hawk helicopter, Swiss so designation helicopter 16, HKP 16, and we need a ship. Now we can use any of the standard ships or any of the add-on ships as long as they have some water effect because it used that memory point. And we can use any helicopter, switch forces pack helicopter, or a helicopter from another uh, add-on maker. We can use the Bohemia's helicopter. It doesn't really matter as long as it has support for sling loading, because it used that memory point as well. It gets to take the entry from the configs and put the and the stuff on the, on the, those two memory points. So back again, we need a ship. Uh, I don't know. We we take the massive Swiss ship here, uh, North Shopping class. Uh, make sure. Actually, it might be. I'm gonna put it here because it's it's what the mission mission is designed for. But I think we're actually gonna use one of the smaller uh, boats. They are easier to handle to demonstrate on the camera. So we got three submarines, we got a boat and a helicopter. Now we select these modules from over here and we just double click on the map and unless it's pre-selected we scroll down this list until we see switch forces back and then we look through these modules and we find the anti-submarine warfare. Now we got three options, two are basically the same, it's just the number, the difference. It's the hydrophone that's used to detect where the submarine are, and it's the depth charges, which basically is just a bomb that's get dropped from a boat. So the hydrophone, we, we select that, and you see it says groups of synchronized objects. So we have one of these on the map, but nothing's going to happen unless we select this tool with links, and we create a link between the module and the helicopter. Now we're going to repeat the process. We select a module. And instead we choose the depth charges, I choose 12, and uh, we create a link between our boat and the module. And that's all it takes, and uh, I think the result is pretty cool, so let's go in game and check it out. So here we have our standard helicopter, the Black Hawk. We can see that mighty sweet ship over there. While we're waiting to take off, speed up a little bit. Okay, we're ready. So basically, this hydrophone that we're gonna use can detect any submarine within roughly two kilometers. The exact range is classified, or probably more. But I don't have any memory, but I think it's around two two kilometers. Um, so we're out of Hoover and we'll go down to a height of roughly 10 meters above the sea, sea level. And then we select in this option we have a lower the hydrophone. So this is added by the module and then we get this module like hydrophone coming out here from the rope. And once it's down below the water we can activate and now it's going to start searching and we're going to see and then we have a first contact at close distance 
direction 305 so it's uh, almost straight forward a little bit to the right it says we have a second contact at medium distance direction 333 and we have a third contact at a far distance direction 21 so basically we have two submarines up to the right kinda close and we got a, a third contact at direction 212 so then of course by flying around a little bit if we fly too fast it's gonna uh, stop searching uh, you see here hydrophone deactivated it says on the uh, right top corner so then we have to we were flying too fast and they cannot make any sense but once we parked we can again activate it we can start getting new information and especially if there's uh, several targets this can be a little bit confusing but if it's just one it's not that hard to start pinpointing it um, and then if you were to do this in a multiplayer environment so you have one pilot uh, or two uh, you can really get affected so now we go up and I raise the hydrophone and then we're gonna see how to deal with the summary once we have located where they are fortunately I parked well didn't park I just placed the boat a little bit out in the water but probably won't be a problem speed up a little bit so here's our boat Let's see if we can get out to it okay so now we have this uh, boat and as I said we can use any add-on or um, uh, any of the original ships doesn't matter they don't have to be configured in any special way um, so let's say we have uh, the pilot up there giving us direction that um, the enemy submarine is in this area uh, you can see I have a weapon it's a hunk bomb which is the Swedish designation for a depth charge and we just drive and we start dropping these bombs and, uh, you can see when they explode get a little bit of water splash and we want to of course increase this but it's a standard splash now and uh, anyone out there is good with particle effects please let us know we could use your assistance to make it big splash and um, I'm gonna go I'm sorry I got uh, caught out there I accidentally hit the wrong key when I went to camera so I'm just going to show you the underwater explosions and uh, terminate this video. Yeah, so once again I'm, I'm going back to this boat. And um, hopefully I don't press the wrong key now. So the depth charges they fall, I mean sink pretty pretty fast. Which uh, isn't that good. Uh, I hope I can adjust the resistance later but yeah right now they all the time more or less hit the ocean floor and explode but they're actually not exploding on impact they're exploding on a time fuse so um, if I can increase the distance it will explode in the in the middle of the water rather than at the floor but anyway enough talking so dropping off some bombs here And now, without getting the wrong key, going into the camera mode. As you can see, we got plenty of bombs. And it's gonna go really fast here, but enjoy the show. Uh, hopefully, this will be quite terrifying if you're in a submarine on the water and that's going on but yeah that's that's all from me and uh, Swedish Forces pack 
So I hope you enjoy the video. I hope you're gonna download our mod and try it out. And I especially hope that you bring a friend and go into multiplayer and try some cool missions because that's what it should be about. Not just go in the editor and play, a, play around even if that's fun as well. But to actually have some moments with your friends and chase submarines and whatever. So thank you.